Okay, we're gonna get started. Welcome to the Town of McCandless uh, meeting of Town Council. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Just a reminder, we are here to work together to better our town. We will all have an equal voice. We may disagree, but we will do so with civility and respect. Because in the end, you're all neighbors. Announcements. Uh, first of all, the introduction of our parks and recreation coordinator. Angela, uh, Angela, if you want to come up, uh, I just want to introduce Angela. She's our new Parks and Rec uh, Reation Coordinator. Uh, she'll be helping the uh, town with uh, some of our community events, such as Community Day, um, Winterfest, along with some other things that we do, and uh, helping working with our sports facility teams and uh, our community, our residents that use our parks. So I just wanted to introduce you and let you say hi to everybody. Hi, nice to meet you all. I'm Angela. I'm very excited to start here. I just started the other day, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, have several years experience in crafting, helping with a lot of the recreation and parks programs there, as well as other things like sports leagues, fundraising, things like that. So I'm excited to do the same things here. Welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome. 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 Uh, next up, we will have a drive-in movie at the Heritage and Cultural Center. Uh, which is scheduled to begin at 8 p.m. on July 15th. And the movie will be Monsters of the Age. Mission is great. Uh, the Heritage and Cultural Center will be hosting a presentation on the August Wilson on July 20th at 7 p.m. National Night Out is scheduled for August 1st, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. here in the back part of July. Um, Community Day is scheduled for September 9th at 4 p.m. Uh, yoga in the park will continue to take place on Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. located at the Dublin Park. Um, any public comments on agenda items this time? Good evening, council members. Ellen Wright, 9635 Old Coomer Road, Allison Park, PA, 15101. Um, I have a comment on the entire agenda. The July 10th agenda was not posted until today, July 10th, the day of the meeting. And that's my comment. Um, it serves the public. If we can see the agenda before the day of the meeting. Um, so that's my comment for this evening. Thank you. Um, now we will move on to approve the following minutes submitted to each council member. Is there a motion to approve? I make a motion to approve of minutes from last week. Second. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Great. Okay, up next, reports of committees. Report of public safety committee at the board. Yes. Uh, first, we have the chief's report. You all have it in your packet. <laughs> um, and of course, chief is here. If you have any questions for him, do you want to come up? The only thing I really wanted to say, besides the training you both see, uh, was that Officer Davis started his training with his partner three weeks ago. Today he began week four, six weeks. So uh, all is moving forward. And Ms. Schwager stole my thunder about National Night Out. And I also, I also um, kudos for being the Assistant Emergency Manager Coordinator. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Any questions, folks? I got you that answer, Mr. Singer. You'll have it. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, fire marshal's report. Jeff here. Hi, Jeff. Uh, looks like you had uh, quite a little busy month. Yeah. It seemed all good. Okay. Uh, your minutes are in your packets. You have any questions for Jeff? Or Jeff, if you have anything you want to comment on? Uh, I don't have anything. Uh, just one comment for you, Jeff. Um, and for council, I was uh, in the office the other day and Jeff was kind enough to show me some of the pre planning he's working on it was in the report um, for some of the school district stuff. And it's phenomenal, um, the work he's doing and what will be provided to our fire departments going forward. So hats off. Thank you. It's excellent work. Thank you very much for your efforts. Appreciate it. I like seeing the trading for the emergency management downtown. And I'm hoping that 
soon we'll be able to do something in the police department and like all the employees here to set up things. You mean for in the event that there was something that would happen, preparedness. Oh yeah, you mean like a uh, uh, an annual training or yeah. type deal? Right. It's on the agenda. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to get some time this year. Yeah, but eventually we will. We will. So. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Building permit report for the month was quite extensive. Um, it's in your packet. Uh, nothing, I don't think, out of the ordinary. Any questions? Okay. Code enforcement report. Um, that's also in your packet. Uh, it's amazing how many things he attended to in one month. And these are just things that were reported that he reported or other things that aren't. So I was amazed to see this. And uh, a lot of it has to do with the littering, garbage, um, you know, complaints from residents with regards to signs. So there were a lot of things that were attended to. So I did want to make note of that. Anyone else? Any questions, anyone? Okay, that was that's the stats. And uh, liaison reports, personnel. Uh, yep, so first up, personnel board. Um, I'm really new yet. Uh, our next meeting will be July 19th at 9.30 a.m. The only thing that might change is the full time year out for five. When we'll have our coming. I thought we did switch that. I mean, the ones we had in the holidays. Yeah, but that. They had to check with Matt and. There was a discussion about moving the meeting, but I don't believe anyone's any change if we make it. If they are changed, we will re-advertise. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. The uh, volunteer fire department steering mm -hmm. committee, Mrs. Eisenreich. We haven't had a meeting, but we're meeting tomorrow night here. Okay. Public comments on public safety? Council? Okay. Uh, so moving on to reports of facilities management, uh, the staff report public works. Uh, Jeff Schuneman's here this evening. If you have anything to add to. All right. And I have uh, three quick things. Paving program is on schedule for Monday the 17th. We, I don't know if they're posted yet, uh, we posted the first 12 streets we'll be doing, we'll be doing. and then uh, after that will be nine roads, and then Brock should be the last. We're thinking the duration of the project will probably be at least five weeks, depending on weather or breaks from the contractor. The the Rain Rogers Park, that's the park we're doing in-house. That's on schedule. Um, I'm thinking we still have probably a month to go on that, maybe a little longer, again, depending on weather. And then myself and Chief Hawk, uh, we've been working on the uh, camera systems for the intersections. Uh, we pretty much have everything together and we're going to get started shortly. So that's all I have. Thank you. One comment for you. Yes, sir. Um, I know there's been a extra effort this year to focus on some of our stormwater maintenance on our storm ponds. Um, Dr. Roth and I had a brief discussion beforehand. Um, it's going amazing by your report. We appreciate all the hard work you're putting Absolutely. in the water and mechanics. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, moving on to liaison reports, Environmental Advisory Committee. Mr. Casey. We just added one more committee person and someone resigned. So we're now seeking another committee person. So if anybody has anybody that might have an interest, we would love to chat with them and particularly get their application. Any other questions for Mr. Casey? Uh, moving on, the Technology Committee, Dr. Uh, well, We didn't have a meeting, but uh, we will be bringing up um, a uh, proposal. We did do the proposal, correct? We did the proposal, now we're gonna vote on it? Yes, the, um, the request for proposal on for managed services and IT services for the town. Um, was they were due on Friday. We have received them. Uh, we have shared them with the remaining members of the tech committee um, to get their input. And uh, we'll make a recommendation to council after that. Yes. Any questions for Dr. Rapa? Okay. 
uh, stormwater management ad, ad hoc committee, that's myself. There was no meeting. There will be one coming up here in this quarter. Uh, at this time, is there any public comment on facilities management? Please Hi. state your name and address. I'm Joe Hall with the FDPC. There are two things I'd like to mention to council. Number one, I would like to thank the Department of Public Works for the attention to detail that they've done in maintaining our facility over at the Heritage and Cultural Center. And I'd like to point out um, and thank Mr. Casey because he worked with Mr. Eitner at Eitner's Farm to get us annuals for our planting around the Heritage Center. Thank you. Mr. Wall, are there any other public comments? Uh, pending that, I will yield to Ms. Clinton, who's not here. Um, you want me to continue with that, Madam oh. President? Okay, uh, continuing on, reports of the Services Committee, uh, liaison reports, uh, McCandless Township Sanitary Authority, Mr. Casey. Reports in your packet. If you have any questions, I'm here. Pending no questions. Uh, McCandless Franklin Park Ambulance Authority, uh, Trish is not here. Um, I'm the alternate. I did not attend. Um, she was attending there, and I apologize. I don't have updates. The minutes were in your packet. Um, if there's any questions, you can follow up with myself or Trish afterwards. I think the only comment I would make is I think our new um, new director over there is doing a great job in trying to build this back up and also going after monies. Uh, and it's really nice to see the reports in here because they look a lot better than they had previously. Thank you for those comments. Uh, moving on, Northland Public Library Authority. Um, your reports are in your packets and uh, nothing major new there. Are there any questions for Northland? Okay, at this time, are there any public comment on services? Okay. And I yield back to the president. Okay, up next is old business. Um, Brian, would you like to? Uh, yes, the last uh, meeting we had a um, draft of a resolution to adjust our technology committee to uh, better address, at the recommendation of the tech committee, how to handle assistance to the town. So uh, in your packet was a copy of penalty identified resolution seven. Uh, that would uh, reestablish the tech committee as an ad hoc committee with three members and uh, to meet when needed. And if you have any questions, uh, if you're any or I can answer those. Okay. Um, is there a motion to adopt tentatively identify, identify resolution seven of the 2023 series for building economy canvas? Resolution number five of 2019 and reestablishing a technology advisor committee. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Motion passes. New business. Um, is there a motion to ratify the execution of an agreement for the settlement and release of the complaint and declaratory judgment? Currently pending before the Allegheny County Court of Common Pleas, a docket number GD-21-1947, caption um, Con et al. versus uh, McCallum Township et al. Uh, and I would defer to Attorney Corbel for uh, any discussion. Also, he would probably mention that uh, anything that was heavy discussion to be handled in executive session. Okay. Any other comments? No. Okay. Um, is there a motion? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion. Motion to ratify the execution of an agreement for the settlement and release of a complaint and declaratory judgment currently pending before Allegheny County Court of Common Pleas at docket number GD 21-1947. Captioned Coon ETAI versus McCannis Township ETAL. Is there a second? Yeah. Yeah. Which which one is this? This is regarding that. Yes. It, this is the, okay. the no, there's two of them. And then the next yeah. one's to award a contract for it. Okay. All right. So there's a motion and there needs yeah. to be a second. Second. Okay. Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Nay. Okay. 
So we have to do roll call. Roll call. Okay. So we'll start. Hold on, let me. Okay. So word one. Yes. Okay. Word two. Yes. Okay. Word three. No one. Uh, word four. Nay. And word five. Yeah. I, and then obviously I want six I and number seven here. So we have what is it four to one. So it passes. Okay, so okay. Next up, motion to approve a contract to Jet Jack Inc. in the amount of sixty-five thousand for the removal and replacement of forty-eight inch diameter pipe in the rear yard of sixty twelve Strafford Court as part of the shared settlement agreement. Third motion. I like the motion. Motion to approve a contract to Jet Jack Incorporated in the amount of sixty-five thousand for the removal and replacement of a forty-eight inch diameter pipe in the rear yard of sixty twelve Stratford Court as a part of the shared settlement agreement. Okay. 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 Second. Here we go. We got a second. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, roll call. Ward one. Yes. Oh, sorry, I'm writing this all down. Is that ward two? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, ward three. Blank. Ward four. Nay. Okay. Ward five. Yes. And then ward six. I and ward seven. And motion passes. Next up, motion to authorize the town attorney to enter into a consent order, green to settlement, and continuance of the action in equity currently pending for the Allegheny County Court Common Pleas, docket number GD 23 4497, captioned Tommy McCandless versus Nancy Bundy. I'll make the motion. Second. 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 Marianne, are you all in favor? Aye. Aye. Your side. Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion passes. Okay. Is there a motion to adopt or reject tentatively identify resolution eight of the 2023 series requesting a flood mitigation program grant of 500000 from the Commonwealth Financing Authority? Yeah. The Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to be used for repairs and rehabilitation of a flood control system located near Oak Ridge Drive. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Up next. Yeah, okay. Say, we'll just let everybody go now. Okay. Campus. Okay. Okay. So up next, we have general public comment. Irene Caliendo, 411 Haw. I would once again like to put in a request that council work with um, town manager and reinstate a secure way to have a virtual meeting connection. It's certainly inexpensive enough. It's also not only a convenience for residents, but it's just one more way to allow residents to participate in uh, in our local town business. So I would request that you take a look at that again. Thank you. I thought we had agreed that we'll at least air our meetings. But they're, okay, and they're still doing that right now. Correct, okay. they're, they're, post, they're posted on that. video on YouTube after, so they're not oh, live. They're not live then, yes. okay. That's what I'm sure enough to understand, okay. Any other questions, comments? Ellen Wright at 9635 Road, Allison Park, PA 15101. Um, it's my understanding that um, when the sheets moved across the street, that if, that there weren't supposed to be deliveries in the middle of the night. And when there are deliveries in the middle of the night. And so if somebody could take a look at that, because um, it's disruptive to the residents. Which sheets is this? Uh, the one on Perry Highway. Yeah, the 19th. I've moved across the street. It's right. the top of Montclair. Yeah, right, well, right, right by Montclair. Yeah. yeah. Marwood. 
part of the agreement was there wanted to be deliveries in the middle of the night. Do you know any specific times? Um, no. Can you find that out? Maybe 2 a.m. Is this recent? I think it's continually. Because I was of the opinion of my conversation with one of the neighbors there that it was under control. Um, it's my understanding that in the last month, it's an issue. Must be a different person we're talking to then. Um, and my second comment is um, the person who resigned from the EAC was a longtime member of that committee and spent many, many volunteer hours working to beautify the town. And if there could be some kind of formal recognition of all the volunteer hours that they put in as part of that committee and beyond that they did, um, I would urge the council to think of some formal way to recognize them. For well, all we the did at the volunteer recognition dinner he was there when he was recognized there okay thank you though because sometimes there are resolutions that are done but okay thank you okay. any other public comments no? just one comment from from me at the end of the day um earlier in the meeting ms wright um alleged that the town did not post the agenda within 24 hours of the meeting um, we have confirmed during the course of the meeting that the agenda was posted on Sunday, yesterday at around 3 p.m., which meets the 24-hour requirement under the sunshine. So just wanted to make sure that was part of the record so everybody was understanding what really happened. Thank you. Can I speak to that? You cannot. You've already spoken. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. Aye. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. That's a record. That's a record. Speedy guns.